In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can upload attachments in batch into QuickBooks online using Z-Axis. So if you're not already familiar with what an attachment is, I've got two examples here. The first one is for an inventory item. And what we've done is we've attached an image of the inventory item in QuickBooks. The second is a PDF file that we've attached to an invoice in QuickBooks. So these are two great features of a way of keeping additional information alongside QuickBooks, which you can share with accountants and with other people in your, in your organization. What I'm going to show you today is a way that you can batch upload these without having to do one by one. We may want to upload, say, 20 or 30 image files or PDF files or Excel sheets and attach those to either the customer or the item or transaction like a bill or an invoice. This is on my desktop and now I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks Online company file. So I've logged into QuickBooks Online and pasted in the tokens in here. I click Save. And now when Z-Axis is connected, you'll see the company file that we're connected to down here. Next, click on the Import tab and I'm going to browse to the file that contains the information about the uploads we're going to make and import into QuickBooks Online. So I've created a text file. Now this also can be um, an Excel file as well. And I select the file and click Open. So what you'll notice is this file has a particular structure. And you need to have your information aligned with this. So the first column contains the folder path and file location of the attachment that you'll be uploading. So for example, in this one, um, it's a PDF file and it's located in our documents test folder. Next, we um, specify what type of transaction or list it will be attached to. And if it is a transaction, we need to specify the invoice number or the bill number that this attachment will be attached to. Alternatively, if we're uploading um, to a item or a customer record, um, equally we need to specify the location of the file here. And also we need to say that it's an item and the name of the item that we're attaching this image in this case or this file to. Just some constraints. So QuickBooks allows you to upload um, PDF files, Word documents, Excel sheets, um, image files like JPEG or PNG files, um, as well as text files. They mustn't exceed 25 megabytes. Um, and those are the main restrictions that you need to follow. So if your data can be arranged in this type of layout and these files being placed in these particular locations, then it makes it a lot easier to upload. So that's on the how the data should be laid out before we upload. The next step in the process is to create a mapping. So I'm going to select Add New Mapping. And I'll select the transaction type as Attachment. And then we'll match the QuickBooks Online field to the column in our import file. So folder goes against folder and notes and so on. So once we've mapped this, we'll save it and give it a name. And we'll click Save. So now you'll see the structure has changed to the QuickBooks fields. So as a quick check, here is the folder, which can, contains the JPEG images and PNG images, as well as two PDFs that we'll be uploading into QuickBooks Online. So now when we're ready, we click on the Import button.
Once the import is completed, we'll see a summary of all the transact all the attachments that have been uploaded, as well as if there have been any errors. And in this example here, um, it can't find the file for the bill attachment, so it's told us that here. So we can go back and correct that if we need to. So let's just have a look in QuickBooks Online and see what we've uploaded. So the first was a, um, a JPEG for the ship's, sheepskin roller. So let's go and have find that. So here we have uh, the image that we've uploaded for this sheep's grin roller. Um, the second was for handy builders, uh, image for the for the customer. So we'll go and have a look at the customer record. So here's the customer record for handy builders, and we have the icon, the image that we've uploaded here. And the third one was for the invoice that we were uploading, and we're uploading. Uh, with that, let's have a look at that. So here we have a record of the invoice that we've attached the um, receipt to. So we go down the bottom and you can see here the attachment that we've made. So that's very quickly how you can batch upload attachments into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis.